action. And when good men fight for power, everybody wins. Because I'm for, I'm going to protect women. I'm going to protect children. I'm going to protect freedom for every person. This is what good men do. We are an asset. Good men sacrifice their entire body. They they they, they sacrifice their hands, their mind. They they sacrifice their emotional feelings to make sure that everyone else is okay. And and by all means, that's what that's what we supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, but they take man. us for granted. And I'm so mad at America for taking the American man for granted. Oh, thank you, because I was going to say, who is the they? I'm so mad say- at the American woman for taking me for granted. Yeah, you that's, just think that I'm supposed to be here to fight for you. And because I like you and I love you and I appreciate you, you want me to die for you. And I'm like, baby, live for me if I'm going to sacrifice myself for you. Hi. I don't know, man. I ain't going to say I'm going to die for a woman unless we got a family. I will. I got three babies. I got well, a baby on the way. You yeah, know I ain't dying for no woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell, but, like, that shit. was the agreement. Like, right. I know that she can't fight for herself. I know baby mama ain't got no hands. <laughs> but they, they they always act like they do, though. And she can't Why? even shoot that good. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No, no practice. That's another thing we need to get on point. Go, go. Do some practice with some shit. You know, uh, I think violence is a very uh, useful tool when it comes it to uh, handling disputes on a on a large scale. But right now, when it comes to defending my family, de- protecting my my country, my nation, I don't need no gun. My brain and my mouth is all that I need. I'm not a pacifist, but I know that I don't have enough bullets to fight the war that I need. And the war right now is a war for humanity. It's a war for working class men to be able to have children sustain themselves and have a house and a car. This was the American dream 30 years ago. How do we go 30 years later and the American man don't want no house and no car and a washing machine so that he can have a family? Like, what the heck is going on right now? Because it's going down. Like the last show I told you. It's it's, it's not the uh, idea of... If it's going down, you better fight better, okay? (laughs) <laughs> but but we, we're here today in this present time, and ain't nobody fighting. If if America fails, I'm gonna blame you. That's fine. I'm gonna bl- blame you specifically. That's okay because <laughs> I'm gonna be like, okay, come with you know me why? over here. Because I believe in you, I respect you, and I think that you have the power and the intelligence to make this thing better. Not not America, man. The greatest American alive.